everyone. I'm Charlie and we are in Jack's Den. Now it might look a little bit different from last time. We've had a bit of a moving around. We've put different posters up and Jack now has decided that he wants to put his desk in his den. Me and Sock Monkey, we went out for a run this morning and it is so sunny. It's really, really lovely. And I have a story for you today called The Beautiful Gate. And I guess it kind of reminded me of the sun that I experienced this morning that was on my face when I was running. One afternoon, Pete and John were going to the temple to pray. There were lots of ways into the temple, many different gates. And the gate that Peter and John chose on this particular afternoon was the gate called Beautiful. It was covered all over in bronze and shone brightly in the blazing sun, just like the sun is today. Sitting outside the gate, however, was someone who did not feel beautiful at all. He was poor, he was a sick man who couldn't walk, who had never walked in his whole life, not ever. And so he sat there day after day begging for what little money those passing by would give him. When Peter and John came near to the man, he reached out his hand and said, Can you spare some change? he asked, hoping for something beautiful, like a shiny silver or gold coin. But Peter had something even better in mind. I don't have any silver, he said, or any gold either, but I'll give you what I do have. The power of Jesus at work in me. So by that power, I tell you, stand, stand up, stand up and walk. Then Peter took the man's hand and right away he wasn't sick anymore. He could feel the power in his feet, in his ankles, in his legs. He could stand up. He stood up and he started to walk. And that's not all. No. He followed Peter and John through the gates into the temple. And by that time, he wasn't just walking. He was leaping too. Walking and leaping and praising God for what had happened to him. The people saw him and they were amazed. And there's only one word for what they saw in his eyes and his face and his dancing feet. It was beautiful. I love that story. It's really short, but it's just as beautiful as the run that I went on this morning. The thing that I love about it is that what the man got was something that was more than money. He asked for a silver coin or a gold coin, something that was shiny, but instead he got something else. Something that made his heart feel beautiful. So this is my question today. I want you to think of all the things that you've been doing with your family inside your house that is beautiful. It's got nothing to do with money whatsoever. No shiny coins, no silver coins, no gold coins. Just all the things that make you feel beautiful. I want you to have a think. And that's the question for today. I wonder what Jack's answer would be. Shall we go and find out? Come on then. <laughs> 